Let's make ratatouille. Woo. Let's get to work, Pesto. He's nibbling my hair. Slice all your vegetables into thin strips like this. Pesto, let go. Now we layer our vegetables in a nice pattern. Don't forget sauce. To finish, we'll drizzle in olive oil. Add just a pinch of salt. Then into the oven it goes. We'll add our sauce. Then our ratatouille. And a chive to top it off. It's a ratatouille fit for a king. Go ahead, Pesto. Oh, he loves it. He's the best helper ever. Let's make white strawberry fruit lemon. This is a white strawberry. They're sweeter and softer, but way more expensive. Slice off the top, then into a blender, along with a drizzle of honey. Then blend till smooth. <laughs> now we pour it onto a lined tray, spread it all out, then bake several hours at 175 Fahrenheit. Now peel back your leather. Yes, I'm obsessed with fruit leather. Just tastes like normal strawberry. I promise this hasn't been done before. Let's make giant pigs in a blanket. All we need is this and a few wieners. Ready for the pop? Unroll your dough, slice those wieners, boop, and now we roll it up. Now brush with egg wash, then bake it 350 Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. This looks insane. For our sauce, ketchup, mustard, and a touch of honey. Ooh. These are way better than hot dogs. Let's make chili. We're gonna need some help. Hey, Kevin. Nick D. Giovanni. I understand you're making a little chili. You're making a little bit of my chili. The trick is to undercook the onions. We'll start with some oil, one chopped onion, a red bell pepper, six cloves chopped garlic, and our classic chili seasoning. Don't forget your salt. After a few minutes, two pounds ground beef, two cans kidney beans, two cans diced tomatoes. Now add a splash of water, then let it simmer for several hours. Now we'll add in our chili, then top with sour cream, some cheese, and a few green onions. Kevin has a bit more advice. Do yourself a favor, heed my words, don't spill it, or you will never live it down. Nice. I will not drop this. Let's taste Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington. Gordon has criticized my food many times. Now it's time for me to try his. I'll let Gordon explain. Hey Nick, it's me, your favorite chef. Now you know, young man, that I've put you under the spotlight across many mystery box challenges. So it's time to reverse the tables. Bring it on, big boy. Let's go. This is Gordon's newest restaurant. You already know what we're ordering. Now that looks fantastic. We'll slice in and taste. Easy 10 out of 10. Not many people get this opportunity. Let's cook a 15 pound lobster. This is a 15 pound lobster. This bad boy costs $600. He doesn't fit in my pot. Sorry, Mr. Lobster. Our claw is done. Boop. Look how thick that shell was. Caviar and black truffle. We'll shave our truffle, then finish with caviar. Oh boy. Probably the most expensive bite I've ever taken. We could buy off our limited caviar drop. You don't see this every day. Let's make ramen crusted pizza. Cook two packets of ramen just until they're flexible. Now in a cast iron pan, heat a few tablespoons vegetable oil until it begins to shimmer. Now add your ramen and press into a nice even layer. Reduce heat to low, then add cheese, sauce, then more cheese. Top with just a bit of Parmesan. Then bake about 20 minutes at 450 Fahrenheit. Now we'll slice our pizza. Listen to the perfect crust. It's the best slice of pizza you've never heard of. Time to taste. I've made some weird foods, but this might be the weirdest. Let's make Sour Patch Watermelon Vodka. Hiya! Just kidding. Now cover in plastic wrap and let it sit for several hours. Now you can see the seeds. Don't forget the crumbs. They're perfect for rimming your glass. You can serve it however you like. This might be my new go-to drink. Cheers. Sweet and sour. You can also eat the watermelons. It's time to get crazy with our cocktails. Let's make Texas Roadhouse Butter. Boom! The rolls are great, but we can make the butter better. Two sticks softened butter, half cup powdered sugar, two tablespoons honey, a splash of homemade vanilla extract, a touch of ground cinnamon, and a tiny pinch of salt. Now whip it all up. Eventually you'll get perfect whipped butter. You want the best butter ever? Let's make tater tots. Don't be lazy, make them yourself. Six russet potatoes, then cover with water, then bring to a boil and cook six to seven minutes. Now grate your potatoes and press out all the liquid. Now add salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, dill, and a tablespoon all-purpose flour. Now form your tots. To a pan, add one cup vegetable oil. Hello. Then cook your tots over medium heat till golden brown. Nice and crispy. Little more salt, the perfect tot. Just listen. These look insane. I've wanted to do this for a while. Let's make lobster rangoon. This is Larry. I'm sorry, Larry. Steam your lobster. Boop. Now into a bowl with your lobster meat, eight ounces cream cheese, one clove minced garlic, a quarter teaspoon Worcestershire, and some chopped green onion. Don't forget your flaky salt. Mix it all up. Now we'll start with a wonton wrap, place down our filling, paint all four edges with egg wash, and then fold it up. Then we fry at 350 Fahrenheit till golden brown. I'm excited for this. Mwah. Just when I thought crab rangoon couldn't get better. Let's make pasta from an emu egg. 
This is an emu egg. They almost don't look real. Instead of pork, I'll start with a bit of wagyu, and once nice and crispy, set it aside. Our special egg needs special pasta. Salt your water, then cook your pasta. Now we pour our egg into a bowl, along with some Parmesan cheese and some black pepper. Now mix it up, then drop in your pasta, turn off the heat, and add in your egg mixture. There's only one way we can serve this pasta. So this is a Wagyu Emu Egg Carbonara. Let's taste. That's crazy good. I have never seen one of these before. Let's make a Wagyu Big Mac. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We'll start with Japanese Wagyu beef. Carve out the perfect patty. Then we'll drive to McDonald's, season our patties. One Big Mac, but hold back the patties. Then cook our beef in the drive-thru. Now we assemble, and we've got a $350 Wagyu Big Mac. Ta-da! Time to eat. That was perfection. Nope, this is not a joke. Let's make chicken lollipops. Add your chicken, brine it in buttermilk, and don't forget your seasoning. Then trim your lollipop until it looks like this. Then add your flour, seasoning, and dredge. Then we fry. Perfectly crispy. Now into a pan, we'll add two cups of sugar and one cup of water. Now we'll make an ice bath, then dip our chicken into the sugar, then into the ice bath. Now that's a good looking chicken drum. That's the perfect combination between sweet and savory. I felt creative today, so let's make roasted garlic bread. Slice your bread in half, then warm it up in the oven. Now chop the heads off a few bulbs of garlic, then cover in olive oil, salt, and pepper. Then cover and bake 35 minutes at 400 Fahrenheit. That's what I call roasted garlic. Now simply squeeze that garlic over your bread. I promise it won't be too garlicky. That's why we cook it. Then spread it with your knife. That's a perfect layer of garlic. Add some Parmesan cheese, a little garlic salt, dry parsley, and fresh parsley. This garlic bread is easy and will blow your mind. Just listen. I have no words. It doesn't get better than this. Let's make crispy chicken skin chips. Rotisserie chickens will always be my favorite food. First we remove the thong, you can't leave your chicken tied up, and then gently begin to peel off that skin. Then lay your chicken skins on a wire rack, then add salt, pepper, and a touch of chili powder, and bake it 375 Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Listen to that crisp. This will be your new favorite part of chicken. It's not burnt, it's seasoning. Just listen. You're gonna wanna make these tonight. This might be my favorite food of all time. Let's make deep fried avocado. Nick, catch. Thank you. I got enough requests for this that I'm actually gonna do it. I'll gently score my avocado, then peel the skin off. I love peeling avocados. He's totally naked. I'll season some potato starch, then dredge my avocado, then drop it in egg wash, then into my breadcrumbs. Now fry at 375 Fahrenheit till golden brown. Perfect golden brown. It looks cool, but it smells kind of weird. I guess I'll take a bite. Avocado is not meant to be hot. I can't believe I'm doing this. Let's make salmon nuggets. That's me. I'll start with a whole king salmon. You can buy yours pre-portioned. I just like to be extra. I'll start by slicing around the head, then slice down the spine, then separate the filet, flip, and repeat. Now slice into cubes. We'll cover our salmon in soy sauce, then set it aside to brine. Panko, potato starch, a couple eggs. Season with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Dredge in the potato starch, eggs, and panko. Now we fry at 375 Fahrenheit till golden brown. Tell me you don't want this nugget in your mouth right now. Listen, this is my new favorite thing ever. Unreal. Bye bye chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are so last year. Let's make buffalo chicken mac and cheese balls. Come here, chicken. Tear apart one cup rotisserie chicken, then into a bowl with your chicken, two cups mac and cheese, a nice splash of buffalo sauce, pinch of salt, and some chopped green onions. Now mix it up and refrigerate till firm. Now form it into balls, dredge in flour, then egg wash, and panko. Then we'll fry at 350 Fahrenheit till golden brown. That is a golden ball of deliciousness. That looks insane. This is not what it looks like.